Alright, I went and got some water, I take a nice drink, put away my dishes and stuff like that, and we're back here. So, we just unlocked a bunch of new arena stuff, which is what we're going to do. I really would like to get some more medium AC parts, because I really feel like that's kind of where I'm ending. I kind of want this, like, bruiser, but, like, still on the lighter end of bruiser, so, like, light, like, <laughs> was it fucking welterweight or something like that? I don't know what class is off had. But, point is, like, I'm not going for, like, a super light dashy build, but I'm also... Maybe I just need more practice with the Tetrapod build, but, like, man, I'm just bad at using it. <laughs> Potentially, I just need a better generator or stuff like that to make it feel better. There's a lot of things to just fine-tune. Because my main problem with the, like, Tetrapod one was I kept feeling like I wasn't dodgy enough, which is true, which means I should probably put a shield on it instead or something. Um... Right, it's kind of also the point, is that, yeah, of course your game is mobility problem. But I felt like, while being in the air, I was going through energy too fast. I feel like my thruster plus engine combination probably just wasn't good. Alright, let's try this. No sack. Independent mercenary stuck on the Rubicon, hoping to get rich quick. Take advantage of chaos brought by the Exoplanetary Corporation's forays. Mr. Bitter Promise. Under no sack's economic theory, the funds of others are but extensions of his own resources. Thus he continues to take on debt with no intention of repayment, as in his eyes the money was his anyways. <laughs> this does have the benefit of allowing him to buy the latest in corporate technology as soon as it hits the market. He considers his AC an asset to his credit store, the power of his AC credit asset to his store. So this guy actually might just be like really high spec for where he is, but like be a terrible pilot. That might, that might be what it is. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program number 26, entering rank E. Okay, so he's got the burst, he's got a laser pistol. He's got a shield. Call sign, no zark. And is that that's something on his right shoulder that I can't tell. Commencing evaluation. He's got more lightweight spec. Activating combat mode. Alright, time to try our new build. Okay, he flies. He flies now. Ooh, big shot. He's not that good. Like Wayne. There we go. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. So I've got mixed feelings on a napalm launcher, like I suspected. Probably not good for 1v1 combat. <laughs> so I'll probably solve that one out for the arena combats. Probably really good for just like destroying a couple like of the low tier MTs. I could just do a tuner. You know what? We can go back to Blade. I think that's worth trying out. Right, because that's kind of what this thing lacks is after stunning. Um, if I don't stun it, if I, if I stun up the missiles, I can pretty clearly fire a mortar follow-up charge shot, but I feel like the uh, blade is a good backup to have for after a stun. Although, the pile bunker is also pretty tempting. Charge to prime to firing hammer. Oh! Here, let me see what the charge looks like. I can imagine what it looks like, but... Yeah, everyone's this much wider blade. Probably hits easier, but... I 
We'll stick with the normal one right now. Because I kind of want to use the money to buy some other parts besides weapons. Because I have been buying a lot of weapons and I should probably buy a couple other things. Think of that though, OS tuning. I don't really care about the purging, I don't feel like doing that. It's manual aiming. Good for sniping, I guess. <laughs> I should have a little video on this one. It doesn't also tell me what the time limit is. I am liking the kinetic and explosives. Although we're kind of going for some stun value there too. Parakeet effectiveness is also kind of tempting. I think for now I want to try out the pulse armor though. Because right, I can just reset. It costs a tiny bit. So yeah. I would like to see. Okay, well, I'd like to see how it works in movement, but. 10 seconds, yeah, I probably follow suit in that case. Alright. Okay, the VV. Um, Major Link. <laughs> okay. Six squad leader of the Vespers, the Arbicus Group's augmented human squad. Major Link is a uh, product of Generation 8. Okay, so we're Generation 4. Yeah, he was saying, like, oh, Generation 4 old. I was like, Generation 4 sounds pretty pretty new, but if this guy's Generation 8, uh... Yeah, so he's, like, New Age, or at least was one of the New Ages. Like, big generation old divide there. So, yeah, then the guy we killed who was Gen 1 it must have been, like, old, old. Again, I haven't played the earlier games since, like, forever, so I forgot a good amount of, like, the relevant lore besides a couple, like, big things, like, obviously you had, like, the Sky Fortresses and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, played as a kid, vague memories, I do not remember, like, the lore behind Generations beyond, like, you know, none of the specifics or anything like that. Alright, unfailing Lone Arquish is a viable tracker on the field. Connie Missions has established a risk averse problem solver. So, risk averse, she's probably going to be dodgy. Okay. Well, let's solve that problem. Let's try out the new shield. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 25, rank E. Oh, double Subject plasma barrier. Okay, never mind. That plasma barrier was not going to be a good B6, idea. Mater link. Okay, she's gonna zip. Commencing evaluation. Main system activating combat mode. Bonjour. Oh, that ain't a hit. Oh, Jesus. It's a joke. I forgot I moved that off the left side. Okay, that finally hit her. I am... Sad. Okay. Yeah, no? Okay, she's got the laser sniper on her back. Alright. Uh, I just played that horribly. <laughs> my brain did not adjust to the fact that I had just put a melee weapon on my left side and I kept overusing that. Let's start with this. She recovered so fast. Aww. Yeah, 
she is actually piecing me up. Problem is, I'm like trying to get close to her as well, and that's not working out due to her just literally just constantly put out damage like that. But she has to stay still to shoot her lasers, so I think that's, that's where I'm supposed to be taking the opportunity to do damage. Why? Yeah, completely my bad there. I probably cost it. Yeah, the Alphors is dodge. I need to throw a different weapon on my right arm. Also, the melee is not a... Eh, it's, a, it's actually okay if I can get it. But, um... Problem is, uh, I don't want to just walk into that, and my semi-auto here is just not catching them. Well. So, I can't land this because it takes too long. So I think going for more tracking missiles is the correct way to go. Do these ones because they have some AoE. Uh, if I can get the stun with the rockets and that stuff, the melee actually is huge, but... So, if that's the case, I th think... Going for you... She stays in the air, so hitting with the explosives is difficult. I think just try and go into sustained fire and seeing how that works. I don't really need that much upward thrust. Um, yeah, let's try that. Get a little bit faster here. I think I want the medium range still, but we'll see. Pulse armor. This all armor actually might be a better choice for this one. Alright! Round three. This time with uh, not just an accompaniment of all slow semi auto weapons. <laughs> Alright, so the idea is if I just stay firing, it's gonna build up enough things to be annoying. There we go. That was completely correct. There we go. She's super fragile, so if you just bring the like Target fast destroyed. weapons out to like continually deal damage. Well done. Feels much better than using four different like semi-auto weapons for different ranges. That air build I think is good for like not one v ones. <laughs> because uh, yeah, it has a wide variety of things for dealing with a lot of variable situations. Well, this is one very specific situation. All right. Oh, he's a lot like uh, Mr. Index Duem over here. It's from the Liberation Front. As an infant, he was taken Rubicon by her parents, who had promised her riches of coral mining, legal entry on the planet. She only she was the only survivor to crash landing. She came in a guardian ship of Rubicon Liberation Front, and the core of an AC was her cradle as she grew up to become a coral warrior. Okay. So it looks like heavier weapons. So I think I'm gonna um, swap back to what I was wanting to try and use here. So we got the Curtis in the right hand. Use you. Alright, let's try this out. 
Oh, I still had the like jet swapped around too, and I thought that. All right, so they have a long reload time. So this should be relatively straightforward. Significantly easier. Like, <laughs> <laughs> alright, I'm just being able to output calls and damage. Alright, that's the arena option here. Another member of the Vespers. He's a tetrapod. Uh, generation 7. Ah, the first, like, coral substitute technology. Enhanced aptitude pilot without the obvious or the usual complications. But with no obvious indication of either efficacy or potential side effects, his fears and doubts turned into overpowering paranoia. Okay, so you got paranoid about those things. Also, I like his like little bottom eyes. <laughs> okay, so what's what are we looking at? I think I will Sword is a lot of damage, but I just don't have as much fun using it. He's a tetrabot, so I actually might be able to get some use out of this. Well, it's mostly for ground base. Man, we're just on the load issue. I don't know if I'm getting as much. It does hit hard, undeniably. Keep at it for a little bit. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 23. Alright, what do you Final got, buddy? You got like a nail gun. Subject AC. Like, yeah, I don't recognize these weapons. V7, Swinburne. Size the thing on his left shoulder. Yeah, let's see what happens. Commencing evaluation. Main system. Activating combat mode. Yeah. Anything that just seems like dead one for forcing out all this. Just go try to melee. Oh, electric discharge. Okay, 
Okay, so he's got an electric melee weapon on his left side. Nice point blank. He whipped his melee, so I get mine in. Oh, I ate that right in the face. I got baited at his with melee. There we go. That was fun. Yeah, so stock shock melee weapons. Interesting. E rank evaluation. Well done. Almost died there, largely due to running straight into like his biggest attack, but fine. I do like it just gives you a bunch of like builds to try out pretty much. Incoming cars. Congratulations, you have surpassed rank E. We are glad to oversee your development as a mercenary. All mind exists for all mercenaries. Okay. Yeah, so let's buy something new for this hand, which is kind of lacking. It's all a bunch of big weapons, which are kind of awkward. You know? How much ammo does this have? 180 divided by 4. Okay. Oh, the plasma rifle. I could run it. Shots 90. Oh, I keep making that mistake. How do I get the pile driver? I haven't wanted to try out the plasma. So we're gonna try out the plasma. Okay. I'm gonna buy this one just to have it. We bought a couple things. So we can go down to this and get this homing missile launcher. Or we can go down to four. Which would also open up some. Pressure tactics are cool, but I think we're going to be going into the uh, main or the missions now, where we don't have to worry about finding a single AC for the entire thing. Is there any training left? Nope. Oh, okay. Oh, it's like the mission that they had in the showcase, right? All right, we'll do this one. Call it good for this video. It says infiltrate, so I wonder if that's actually supposed to be infiltration or if that's uh request from Balin Industries. They want you to carry out an advanced survey of the central ice field. To confirm the information Walter brought to them about the coral convergence. As for how to cross the Aulian Ocean. This is the Intercontinental Cargo Launcher, installed on the upper level of Grid 086. Oh my god. <laughs> you could use it to launch your AC to the ice field. <laughs> Just scatterpulled across the planet. Grid 086 is occupied by the Dozers, outlaws who treat coral like a drug. It's also the territory of a belligerent group of arms dealers who call themselves RAD. Rad. They prepared for a perilous journey. 
I'll be here to support you, Raven. All right, well, let's get her shot. Let me handle getting us into the grid. I'm fairly adept at analyzing systems and manipulating them too. Infiltration to grid 086. Creating back door into system. Deactivating lock on vertical habitat. Connecting steam cylinders. <laughs> Main system activating combat mode. I sent you the marker data. Let's head toward the elevator going to the upper level. I know I didn't mean to do that, but I was thinking that if you locked on while doing that, it would drag you towards them, but it doesn't think so. They're skittery little guys. Any lights, it's just tail lights. Oh, thank you. Who's this, Zorus? You think you can just walk straight in here? Hope you're watching, boss. Oh, dear. <laughs> right to death last. Looks like you're having fun. Taurus. You know, R.A.D. loves a good welcome party. Come on in and let's get a queen. How curious. Let's take her up on the offer, Raven. Data on the woman from my body. 
Tonight using my left gun enough. I'm, I'm treating it like it's the big rocket launcher, but I've got 80 shots of it, so. Grenade launcher, I need to be a little more there to, but. I, mean, I think I'm just in general. Worried too much about ammunition costs. Kept us waiting for it. Told you we love a good party. Be hacking. Oh, I forgot to spend my new things. My new uh, readout chip things. Hey, buddy. Ammo is used in a charge shot. Oh, not. Okay, it's just one. It's just one. Okay, I was thinking to use multiple bullets. Hey, bud. Oh, he is worth the money. That just was telling me to go the other way. If you turn around, you lose your thrusters going up. Oh, hi. I meant to hold that, but... Yeah, I was trying to do the multi-lock on there, but, uh... I whipped it. That that is probably true. That's actually a tactic used by a lot of mercenaries, always it used to be. Back in like the uh sixteen hundreds and stuff like that, it was a pretty common one. Jump pad I'm supposed to use instead of just sliding a parkour my way out there. Hi, buddy. Guess who's worth more than a single bullet? Oh dear. Played overkill. I could use the jump pad, but I think it's much funnier to do this. Oh, hi. Ow. Oh, I was not paying attention to this guy. Nice sniper. I whiffed that one. 
I just that that pile driver actually got me. I got a combat log. See, that's why I was kind of running around. I was trying to get some of these like combat logs and that stuff. Hey, buddy. Control. Exploring. I found a secret thing and now I am forever cursed. Oh, hi, where'd you come from? I've been cursed with forbidden knowledge that there are hidden goodies. Maybe not hidden, but there are goodies. I see a person! like any enemies. Oh, splash, yeah. Does that mean we have a boss fight coming up? Somewhat educated guess. You're not afraid of anything, are you? Nope. I like that tutorial. Alright, Carla. How did I get your name? Anyway. Too bad. What? Man, sometimes the camera.
Ah. Oh, well, those missiles are... Vertical firing missiles are not in a good location in here. Ooh! Up here, fire off. Oh no! I should have healed at some point in my life. Okay, so the vertical missiles are not counted in for this fight. <laughs> Let's solve those out for a little more useful, potentially. I think it's really the only change there, although the plasma guy could also probably go for a more direct here. Let's swap you. Yeah, let's launch directly. That should give me enough weight to swap you for. Just our reload time here, 7.5. Not likely to get more than yours. Yeah, let's try it out. The goal. Actually, we don't need the AoE, really. Let's just do you. Curtis, you're great, but I think the shotgun, in fact, is actually going to come out. Still have those super fast jets there too. We want more vertical here than dodge, so let's just do our second generation here. Yeah, our overall speed will be lower, that's fine. Yeah, I think the songbirds are as good as you can expect it. Alright. This is where we can just literally fly right over and just couple angle bam. I hurt myself today. Okay, also need to be smarter about that. Yeah, I can tell. What, what, okay, what the heck? I don't know what was happening, but I was not, like, gaining altitude. Tetrapod would actually go crazy here. Oh my god, I keep bumping into the arms. I need gas though.
Bit of missile bottles. There we go. Yeah, we probably did a lot of damage. <laughs> I don't know if I actually recover from this. All right, where are the damages? Oh, those ammo costs. <laughs> I wish you could show the details of your ammo costs. Yeah, I was right. I did find spare parts. So those things were uh, spare parts that I found. And we got a logout program, which means we got that. <laughs> no new messages. Raven, we've received a job from RAD's leader, Carmel. <laughs> Amazing. This could just be another one of her traps. But after the impression you left on her last time, I think it's unlikely. Let's take a look at the- I think we keep being hired by people that we just obliterate all their fit soldiers. <laughs> Before that, though, let's take a look here. Uh, is there new things to buy? I saw a new notification. But yes, I imagine for that fight if you had a quad, you'd be much better off because you could just hover right over instead of doing this awkward jumping. You know what? I'm gonna buy this guy. Because, um, I feel like I need a new right hand weapon. Well, that one's serving me fine. Uh, I think it's worth giving it another one to try. Alright. Yeah, apparently there is something new. I can't find it. Oh. The javelin, okay. Oh, it's a cluster bomb. Oh. Yeah, we'll try that. It's a little bit worse on the load, but... I already legs. So very sturdy, but it's a little bit more AP, more sturdy, and a little better load limit. But everything else is kind of garbage. That's cool to have. All right, I want to go back to the bull's armors there. I had to shotgun and go. <laughs> Yeah. Alright, let's try this one out really quickly and then I'll be the end of this. Although I realize we only have the four direct missiles in this case, but that's fine. Okay, I can just hold down the right trigger and it'll be fired first as needed. That's useful. No charge weapon, but. Honestly, with, with this thing in our left hand, uh, we could probably uh, swap out the thing in our on our left shoulder for something a little bit nicer. A little bit le more missiles, basically. Gives it a plasma. It's between the plasma swords. Yeah, it's the plasma Okay. Cool. I think that's where we're going to run it for a little bit. Alright, well, thanks for watching. We made some progress there. We killed a big structure worker and we found a secret item.